Okay, uh, dear brothers, uh, uh, from the past uh, few days, uh, we have studied about uh, the concept of uh, Trinity, how uh, it came into uh, the church, uh, that earlier it was not there uh, uh, as per the Bible. So how uh, all these things crept inside the church. We saw about uh, Nicene Creed. We also saw about uh, Athanasius uh, uh, Creed. And uh, we also saw about, uh, uh, you see, uh, the Trinitarian concept which came uh, into the church. I mean, you also saw that uh, a lot of uh, uh, differences uh, regarding the word God that is used in the Old Testament and the New Testament. So how to identify the differentiation uh, that is given uh, about uh, God and the Lord Jesus Christ in the Old Testament and the New Testament. So all these things we saw. And uh, we also saw that uh, uh, how, uh, due to the mistranslation uh, of uh, so many things uh, in the Bible, that uh, today this concept of uh, uh, Trinity has come into the churches. So, okay, uh, today uh, we are going to see uh, who is our God. So, we all know that uh, our God is the Almighty God. But uh, today, uh, there is a false uh, idea about uh, God uh, that uh, everybody believes that uh, you see, God is a, a very angry person, a very, you see, ferocious uh, uh, person and is full of wrath. Uh, and is always, uh, you see, is uh, uh, waiting to consume the sinners, uh, waiting to, uh, you see, punish the sinners uh, for the sin. And uh, Jesus, uh, you see, uh, he pacified uh, the anger of God, that he took all the anger. Uh, of God upon himself and he died on behalf of uh, mankind and Jesus is the most uh, loving, uh, you see, and is more loving than our uh, father which in uh, heaven. So therefore, this is the general concept about God. Therefore, you see, once what happened, it seems, uh, in, the class, in the class, uh, the teacher was asking, you see, uh, to the children, uh, what do you think about God? And what is the first thing uh, you will go uh, in heaven and do. So what is the first thing that you, uh, you will do as soon as you go to heaven and see God? Uh, immediately, you see, many children gave uh, various responses. Uh, but one child uh, told uh, that, uh, no, if I go to heaven, I'll immediately go and uh, uh, hide uh, behind Jesus. Uh, as soon as I see God, I will go and hide uh, behind Jesus. Uh, that was the reply of a child. The uh, teacher asked, why? What happened? Uh, why you want to hide behind uh, behind uh, uh, Jesus, and he said, uh, "No, God is always angry. Uh, he cursed Adam, and he gave the penalty for Adam. All the people are dying, but Jesus is so loving, he's so kind. Uh, he came and took our sins, uh, and he loved us uh, more uh, than everybody that he died on the cross. That's the reason I'll uh, hug uh, Jesus tightly." He told him, "Here, brethren, this is the general concept of uh, God." Uh, in the world. But uh, if you see from the correct angle in the Bible, you see the Bible says that God was bound by justice. That God could not violate his justice and do anything beyond it. Therefore, you see, uh, we see that uh, Bible says that, uh, you see, the foundation of uh, God's throne is actually, you see, what uh, is uh, justice. You see, let us read Psalms 89 14. Sir. Psalms 89 14. Uh, Gopal brother, our uh, home brother, can you read? Psalm 89 14. Mm. Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy mm. and truth shall go before thy face. You see, the justice uh, is the habitation of thy throne, which is the foundation of the God's throne. If you see, dear brother, it is called as justice and judgment. God never violates. Uh, is justice or judgment and do anything given. And God was bound by justice that uh, without uh, satisfying God's justice, he could not do anything. But uh, once uh, Christ uh, sacrificed uh, himself uh, and satisfied the justice of God, uh, you see, immediately God gave uh, beautiful uh, redemption through Christ. And uh, who arranged uh, this uh, ransom price, if you see the it was our almighty God. Therefore, the Bible says in John 3, 16, that for God so loved the world, 
that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life you see god so loved the world that he was ready to even sacrifice his son the then if you see actually uh, when did god decide to uh, you see sacrifice jesus if you see it then it was even before the foundation of the earth was laid just imagine you see even before the foundation for this earth was laid he had decided in his mind to sacrifice his son how painful it would have been but uh, you see god was ready to forsake his son on the cross therefore dear brethren you see actually if you see if uh, in the house uh, if a child is not feeling well if he is suffering a lot uh, from uh, you see sickness and all uh, who will be more troubled who will have more pain if you see uh, than the child the parents uh, the mother and the father they will be having more pain why because they can't see their own child uh, suffering like this dear brethren the child uh, in fact they will be ill and they don't know much about all these things and all but the parents who know all these things who have gone through the same experiences you see they can't keep and seeing their child suffering this is what it was with our heavenly father dear brethren he could not see the mankind suffering he never wanted the mankind to you see suffer because of sin and all these things therefore he himself arranged the a sacrifice uh, through christ uh, god chose uh, the sinners uh, above christ uh, you see as the people of israel chose no you see when the people of israel were offered uh, to uh, two persons uh, you see barabbas and uh, jesus uh, there were two persons offered uh, pilot said uh, whom do you want uh, me to release do you want me to release barabbas or christ uh, all the people selected barabbas dear brethren that is what god has done he he was ready to sacrifice his son dear brethren it is not so easy it is it is a much a painful process dear brethren therefore in the bible god compares his son to the right hand of god and this right hand of god that means the lord jesus christ was the one who brought salvation to mankind let us read few verses Isaiah fifty one five brother and Isaiah fifty three one brother. Can somebody read? Fifty one five. Hmm. My righteous is me. My righteous is me. my salvation is gone for, and my arms shall judge people. The eyes shall shall wait upon me, and on mine arms shall I trust. You see Isaiah fifty three one. Okay, and on my arm shall they trust, uh, isn't it? And uh, read Isaiah fifty three one, brother. Uh, home brother, can you read Isaiah fifty three one? Who hath believed our rep report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? You see, who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Arm of the Lord. You see, who is the right hand of uh, Almighty God? If you see, dear brethren, it is none other than the Lord uh, Jesus Christ. Why is he compared to the right hand? If you see, the right hand is the very important hand which uh, everybody uses. Though he be a left hander, he uses the right hand for what? Uh, to bless somebody. Similarly, God used this right hand of Lord Jesus to bless the entire mankind. You see, whenever uh, we meet uh, somebody, we greet somebody. We usually shake hands. Uh, you see, dear brethren, which hand we use? Uh, we use right hand. Uh, therefore, this is the right hand uh, that brought fellowship. Uh, you see, an atonement uh, between God and the sinners and mankind, uh, dear brethren. Therefore, all blessings uh, of Almighty God. Uh, you see, whichever He wanted to give to mankind, He gave only through His right hand. Uh, And who is that right hand? If you see, it is none other than our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, we see, we read in the Bible that uh, everything was created for Him. You see, everything was created by Him, and everything was created through Him, dear brethren. Therefore, the entire earth, uh, you see, the world, wonderful earth, uh, was created uh, through Jesus. Uh, you see, let us see a few things in the earth. Uh, what God has created for mankind, so much He loved them that uh, you see today we can see. A beautiful, uh, you see, scenery all over the world. No, 
you see and uh, the water you see god has created the water so beautiful that uh, it's so wonderful it is amazing you see god uh, water can be you see found in three forms yeah, we all know it can be found in a solid state as in a iceberg or it can be found in a liquid form in the form of a river or a lake or a sea and also can be found in a gaseous form in the form of a clouds dear brother why did god made the water to be in three forms these are actually uh, there is a one wonderful reason for it you see because the water is in a solid state it controls you see the earth's environment it controls the earth's temperature dear brother that's the reason there is no you see uh, very rapid uh, changes in the temperature you see is there any very huge temperature no and for the entire year there is a you see temperature very only in the seasons why it is because of this icebergs in the polar uh, you see region and uh, uh, what is the uh, uh, importance of clouds just because we have the clouds uh, you see the direct sun rays uh, doesn't come naturally hit the earth every time just because the clouds are there if we have the rain uh, every now and then just imagine if the clouds are not there uh, what would have been the condition how could the rain come on the earth uh, dear brother but god has given these clouds also you see naturally you see uh, rain comes and waters all the plants uh, all the trees of this world uh, and river uh, you see the river the lakes the oceans uh, because so much of water it gives life for all the beings inside the water dear brother and imagine if this water was not there what would have been the condition of mankind just imagine what do we use water for we use water for various purposes you see each and everything whatever we do ultimately we use water to wash everything dear brother let it be brushing our teeth though we may use a very costly toothpaste again to clean it what is the thing we use we use a toothpaste after washing all our clothes you see how do we wash it we don't wash it with any uh, only detergent you see we don't uh, use only detergent liquid again if you put it we need to cleanse it again with uh, water dear brother that is the wonderful uh, you see thing about the water huh? how do we use the water huh? while uh, taking bath do we put only soap or do we put only detergent upon our body no do we put only lotion from top to bed and top to bottom and uh, uh, you see take bath no dear brother we use water water you see and in the most important thing in operation theater also doctor he say doesn't use a full bottle of detergent to wash his hands and all he doesn't use sanitizer and all after using all these things also you see he will use water even to you see sterilize the operation equipment and all what is used the water see the beautiful importance of water dear brethren for planting you see for agriculture you see for various things we use water and what is the color of water imagine is it red orange blue no god is so intelligent and so beautiful in wisdom that uh, he has created water transparent imagine if uh, water color would have been uh, orange huh? would we have used it to wash our hands no you see after washing our hands what would have happened all the orange spots would have been there only again if you go and wipe it in any cloth what will happen the cloth will get orange god is so wonderful that he has made it transparent then imagine if the water would have been a brown color what would have happened coca cola company would have come and put a patent case no this is my water because it is huh, brown color that is so beautiful that uh, he never put any color for this water brother not only that one you see <clears throat> the water what of the taste of water you see huh? there is nothing so tasty than water isn't it even if we, after we drink uh, a can of coke uh, or any a juice let it be very expensive juice also huh? after drinking it again man you see he urges for that water why water is the main satisfying thing you brother whatever you eat whatever you drink again you have to come back to drink water 
is there any taste in water is it sweet is it salty is it sour is it bitter no god has made it neutral dear children you see we can drink water even after eating sweet even after eating you see spice item we can drink water water is neutral dear children this is the beautiful creation of god which god has created for whom mankind this is how he loved the world dear brethren he did not create everything just vaguely at one and moreover see the beautiful vegetables yeah see the beautiful fruits in this world dear brethren so beautiful are they that uh, each and every fruits and vegetables have a unique character you see unique uh, you see futures in it okay? so good to look at and so tasty isn't it how does it uh, grow huh? we have seen so many plants and uh, you see and the uh, trees grow no how does it grow huh? just by putting a little bit of manure a dung what we put there and we put water what do what what water we do we put do we put the filter water no then we put the waste water you see but what comes out from the plant very tasty fruits and fruits you know how many varieties are there thousands thousands of varieties mango if you take even in that mango there are varieties apple if you take no one that apple varieties are there you see he god has created it is his love dear brother it is his love upon the mankind you see how does water travel in the plants from the roots the roots suck the dirty water when the, the, the does the dirty water come into the fruit no god has made a filtration process only the healthy water should come have you ever fallen sick by eating a fruit no nobody has still fallen sick just by eating a fruit so why it is got so much of vitamins proteins whenever we fall sick what does the god what does the doctor recommend us to eat he doesn't tell us to go and take one kg of meat and eat nicely no he tells us to eat what fruits vegetables because all the nutrition all the proteins and vitamins are there where it is there only in this uh, plants uh, and trees uh, dear brethren and moreover just see the beautiful flowers dear brethren which god has created just see the petals just touch it and see each and every petal each and every flower has a unique uh, you see a physique and a unique look and your softness no man can ever duplicate these things in any of the laboratory though man has increased in knowledge and wisdom in various ways he cannot and definitely cannot do uh, all these things uh, you see he cannot uh, imitate all these things he cannot duplicate all these things though he can create a you see a fragrance uh, incense uh, you see and scent he can create but uh, he cannot uh, give this natural uh, incense which god has kept her in the beautiful flowers dear brethren have you ever smelled a flower a rose how you see how pleasant is it isn't it when you feel headache and all if you see these flowers what will happen immediately huh? we become very cool in our mind this is the beautiful you see creation of god and moreover you see the entire universe huh? the sky how god has created the sky you see what is the color of sky Huh? color of sky god never created the color of sky as a huh? red green green natural color no did god create uh, uh, you see uh, sky as green no did he create as orange no he is created as blue in color that is also actually a beautiful wisdom dear brethren so whenever uh, we are irritated whenever we feel the pressure in our life uh, you see man can tend to go where where does it try to go where does it try to explore he moves out of the city to where to the places uh, go for sightseeing the stations see the beautiful sky see the beautiful creation of god why it becomes a, you see a therapy to him you see it uh, cleanses uh, his mind he uh, purifies his mind dear brethren even this is the creation of god god never created the sky as red in color imagine if it had been red in color whenever we came out of the house everything would have been red in color you see 
stone, any mud, uh, or any plant, it would have been in a red shade only. Uh, imagine if you continuously see red, what will happen to our eyes? Uh, you'll get a headache. But God has made it in a wonderful color that it should be pleasant to our eyes. It should not affect our health. Dear brethren, and moreover, the universe also, the entire universe is a wonderful creation, amazement, dear brethren. You see, actually, <clears throat> In our uh, universe, uh, we have a lot of stars at your brethren. And we have our solar system also. And for our solar system, you see, the nearest star, actually, they call it as uh, Alpha Century. And in fact, if you see, Alpha Century, you see, is uh, the nearest star to our uh, solar system, it seems. And uh, what is this Alpha Century? And uh, how far is it uh, from the Earth, if you see, actually, uh, if we travel at the speed of light, uh, we can definitely reach this alpha century. You know, what is the speed of light? Can somebody tell me what is the speed of light? Does somebody know what is the speed of light? What is the speed that light travels? Does anybody know? Ashish brother, Gopal brother, home brother, anybody? Any idea? Okay. So light travels at the speed of 1,86,000 miles per second. Now, what does it mean by per second? Like, this is one second. In this one second, light travels at the speed of what? 1,86,000 miles, it seems to be. You know, how far is 1,86,000 miles? It is the going around the globe several times. You see, that is within one second, it seems. This is the speed of light. If we travel in this same speed, continuously, without even taking a short break, for four and a half light years, that is the time that we are going to reach the nearest star. You see, and that is Alpha Century. Just imagine the immense creation of God. This is just a star. But a lot of, lot of, lot of stars in this uh, universe. Uh, and scientists say that uh, it is innumerable. Nobody can count it. Scientists say no. The space is infinite. That's what God says to Isaiah. Let us read, brother. Isaiah 40, 26, brother. Isaiah 40, 26, brother. Gopal, brother, can you read? Sure, brother. Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who hath created these things that bringeth out their host by number? See? He, called... he bringeth the host by number. Scientists today, even today, they say that space is infinite. They cannot count the stars. But what does God say? Huh? He bringeth out their host by numbers. God has counted everything, dear brethren. Just imagine the mind of God. So great is our God. He has counted each and every star, it seems, dear brethren. Then continue, brother. Huh? He called them all by names by the greatness of his might. For that he is strong in power, not one faileth. Not one faileth. He calleth everything by name, it seems, dear brethren. For all the innumerable stars, for each and every star, God has given a name, it seems. Just imagine, how many names do we remember? Do we remember so many friends which we have? Do we remember all our relatives? Do we remember everybody's phone number? No. Maximum 10, 15 numbers will have it in our mind. But God, huh? he has named everything, it seems. He calleth you see, every star by the name is in the He make it move in a proper way. So that, uh, not one collide to other. None faileth. None of the stars miss. You see, everything are moving in their own orbit. Dear brethren, scientists say that this solar system, I mean this space, can never be measured. It is infinite. What does God say? 
See, Isaiah 48, 13, brother. Isaiah 48, 13, brother. Huh? My hand also hath laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand hath spanned the heavens. When I call unto them, they stand up together. Hmm. What does he say? Huh? Mine hand hath laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand hath spanned the heavens. He hath measured the heavens. Sir. Even the space is measured by God. We can't even imagine about uh, measuring this one. Four and a half lakh light years. That is the nearest star. Scientists say that there are countless, countless, countless stars sir, in this uh, solar system. And all things, these stars uh, run in orbit. Uh, you see, today, uh, so many plane crashes are happening. Why? Because there's no proper monitor system. So many planes are flying here and there and all. What will happen now? One or the other plane will get uh, failure. They have the plane crashes, sir. Uh, you see? Have you ever heard about a star crash? You know, today, you know, this star by mistake has come into disorbit and, and collided with another star. Have you ever heard? No. There is not a news till now. Why? Because God controls everything. See Job 38, 31 and 32, brother. Job 38 chapter, verse 31 and 32, brother. Read. Can, you, can anybody read? And to bind the sweet influence of Palaetis or lose the band of Orion. Can to bring forth a Mazarot in this season or can to guide Arcturus with his son? Okay. He is mentioning about the you see, so many, you see, uh, dear brother, uh, constellations, uh, can thou bind the sweet influence of Pleiades? Uh, that is a constellation. Can you bind it? Uh, can you bring it in a group? Uh, can you lose the bands of Orion? Can thou bring forth the Mazarath in his season? Each and every constellation comes in his season. Can you bring it forth? It will be wandering in different orbit. When the time comes, automatically everything joins together. A beautiful constellation is formed in the sky. Or he says, or can the guide actress with his sons? Is it possible? We are not even possible to guide the planes properly in the sky, even after having lot of radar, lot of you see modern equipment. Plane crashes are happening, dear brother. Dear brethren, you see, the space uh, is infinite. So this is our Earth. And from the Earth, if you see, uh, this is how the moon looks, dear brethren. You see, huh? and uh, this is how, you see, other uh, huh? planets uh, in our uh, uh, solar system uh, look. Uh, you see, Mercury, uh, Jupiter, you see, and uh, Saturn, Uranus, uh, Various others, uh, you see, planets. Uh, hmm? This is nothing, dear brethren. So compared to our Earth, uh, you can observe here. Uh, our Earth uh, is so big uh, compared to other planets. Uh, but just to see, compared to all other uh, planets uh, and all other, uh, you see, uh, other uh, various uh, stars uh, and uh, solar systems, our Earth is nothing, dear brethren. Just see the Uranus. Huh? This is the Saturn. Huh? Compared to our Earth, huh? you see, there are very huge, dear brethren. Huh? So, in this uh, solar system, if you see, there are a lot of such uh, stars. Uh, huh? You see, uh, this is our, see, you can observe here, huh? how uh, our uh, uh, solar system is, uh, you see, uh, being exposed here, you see the sun. Huh? When you compare it to other creations, uh, uh, what is our sun? You see, yeah. You know, if you see our sun, it looks so bright, no? You can see so many sun 
which are much brighter than our sun. See the Arcturus. What is mentioned in the Bible in Job? That is much more than 10 to 15 times, you see, much brighter and much bigger than our sun. And this is only what we are seeing is our only our solar system. A lot of, uh, you see, huh? other, huh? you see, huh? galaxies are there, you see, huh? our galaxy, then a lot of other things are there. In all those things, uh, how many stars might be there? How many million, million, trillions of, uh, you see, various other creations are there. Uh, huh? Lot of sun, all these things, uh, you see, now you can see there, huh? how our, uh, you know, see, a galaxy. Uh, this is our uh, uh, galaxy. Uh, now if you go behind this one, uh, we will be traveling uh, behind our galaxy. You see, uh, behind our uh, universe. Uh, that is called as uh, you see, multiverse, other things and all is given there. Uh, see, just see, where is Earth? Uh, Earth is nowhere. We can't even see the Earth. It is like just uh, putting a small, uh, you see, a dot uh, in a plate. Take a big plate and if you put a pea, uh, piece, uh, a small piece, uh, you see, inside it. Uh, and what is the value of the piece? See, this is uh, one system. I'm speaking about solar system. See, such a solar system. What is there in this uh, uh, universe? There? Billions, billions of galaxies, dear brethren. You see? And all these billions and billions of galaxies uh, form together. Uh, uh, that is our uh, what, uh, universe and multiverse. Dear uh. brother, have you ever wondered that uh, even if, uh, in spite of uh, so many stars in the sky, why there is no light uh, in the uh, universe? Have you, have you ever observed just because of one sun, we have so much of light on this earth. But while there are so much of uh, sun in the sky in the space, why there is no light? You know, there is a reason for it, dear Budran. You know, what is the reason? Actually, the, uh, you see, the quality and the, the character of a light is that uh, if it falls on something, it reflects back. So therefore, if you see, when we have a tube light, we, when you have, on the tube light, immediately we see brightness because there is a, uh, a uh, you see, there is an item on which the light falls and reflects back up. But if you see in this space, uh, yeah, even though a lot of uh, sun, which are much brighter than our sun, there is no light. Why? Because there is no end in the space where the light can travel and fall on it and reflect back. Uh, the Bible says, even before this space was created, God was there. Let us read Isaiah 43, 13, brother. Isaiah 43, 13, brother. Gopal brother, can you read Isaiah 43, 13? Sure, brother. Yeah, before the day was I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will walk, and who shall let it? See? Yeah, before the day was, I am he. Before the day was, I am. What is the meaning of this before the day? Day means actually a period, a beginning and end. You see, there is a day. It has a beginning and end. God says, you see, even before there was a beginning, even before there was an end, even before there was a space between these two, I was there. Even before space was created, God is there. This is our God. Therefore, compared to the magnificent creation of God, what is mankind? Just imagine you saw so much of plan. Planets, stars, and all among all these things, sir, God is particularly seeing us means how grateful we should be. In this world, there are so many people, so many good people are there, but God is not observing any of this. He has chosen us, He has seen us where, somewhere in this world, you see, somewhere in this universe, sir, earth is there. In this are so many rich people, so many good people are there. God has never called them, no. He has given us the call to whom? Somewhere in India, somewhere in Nepal. In Nepal, we don't know which street, which city, which, uh, you see, house. So many rich people are there, so many good people are there. 
In spite of all these things, sir, God has seen a small house in our place. Inside that house, so many people are there. But yet God has seen our heart and called us. How grateful we should be. Read Isaiah 40, verse 15 and 17. Isaiah 48, chapter, verse 15 and 17, brother. Huh? Behold, the nation are as a drop of a bucket. See, nations sir, are a drop of a bucket. Dear brethren, whenever we take a bucket, do we really worry about a drop of water inside it? You, 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 one drop of water, no, getting waste, no? Will we think? No. God is saying the nations are as a drop of bucket. In this nation, in this drop, where are we, dear brother? Where is our place? And where is our status? God should look unto us. Continue, brother. Next. And are counted as a small dust of the balance. See? Behold. Small dust of the balance. You know, weighing scale is the use. You see? A small dust. Does it make any difference to the weight? Not even one gram. Nobody will tell you, you let me clean the dust and I'll put the weight. Nobody would ever bother it. God says, behold, the island are nothing before me. Read where, continue. Huh? Behold, he taken up the isle Isolates as a very little thing. All nations before him are as a nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. See, all the nations before him are nothing. See, much before only it is better. At least God is comparing us to dust and drop of water. He says, All the nations. Big, big, huge, powerful nations. So much of wealth, the power, glory. God says all these things are nothing. They are counted to him less than nothing. You know, dear brother, what is the mathematical value for nothing? Can anybody tell me? What, the, what is the mathematical value for nothing? Zero. Very good. Less than nothing means less than zero. Is there something less than zero? Tell me, is there something less than zero? In max, is there something less than zero? Yes, it is there. In the graph, you see, minus value. God says, this is the status of nations before him. It is less than minus value. Then why this palm, glory, you see, pride? See, dear brethren, God has chosen us. David knew this one. That's the reason he looked into the sky and said, O oh Lord, when I consider the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the beautiful moon and the stars which thou hast created, such wonderful things you have created. What is mankind, Lord? We have to see mankind from there and have so much of concern for them that you love them so much that you gave his son. This is a uh, condition of God. God has such a love upon mankind that he has come to such a status uh, that uh, you see, he loved us. Uh, dear brethren. Therefore, he says, you should read Isaiah 48, 13, mother. Isaiah 48, 13. Mine hand also had laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand had spanned the heavens. When I call unto them, they stand up together. See, when I call unto them, they stand up, it seems. All these creations obey God. See, even before all these things existed, we have done, our God was there. That is the Almighty God who has no beginning who has no end. He is from everlasting to everlasting. Read Psalms 90 verse 2. 
before the fountains were brought forth, or even thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Everlasting to everlasting. Even before everything was cut in, there was nothing. From then also, cut is there. Therefore, Moses prayed. You see, how did he pray? Huh? I am that I am. He said, no. God told to Moses, no. What's my name? I am that I am. I am. I am there. I am existing. That's all. I have no beginning, no end. That is the wonderful, uh, you see, uh, uh, position of our God, Abraham. And such a high God who lives in such a high place, uh, you know, where does he like to stay? Where does he like to uh, live? He wants to live among mankind. Live. Read, brother. Isaiah 57, 15, brother. Isaiah 57, 15. For thus said the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place. With him also there is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart and heart of the contrite ones. See? The high and the lofty one. So, huh? holy. You see, such a high God, uh, Devadran, he is coming and staying where uh, I also will dwell in him who has a contrite and a humble spirit. Leaving such a high place, God is uh, ready to come and dwell in our heart system. Devadran. That is our God. Therefore, Job says, there is no age for our God. We can't uh, search his age. How many years he is there? You see, there is no count of years. He is there means he is there. He has no age at all. Read with us. Job 36, 26. Behold, God is great and we know him not. Neither can the number of his years be searched out. See? Neither can the number of years be searched out. He is great. He is very great. And uh, we don't know that's all. Therefore, when Solomon prayed while, uh, you see, dedicating the temple of Solomon, he said, Oh God, you are so high. What is this house I have built at you? This is nothing, God. Uh, he who inhabited eternity. Heavens of heaven cannot uh, contain thee. You are so great, he said. Uh, he prayed. Uh, he understood that God is so high that uh, no temple in this world uh, can, uh, you see, occupy him. Read 2 uh, Chronicles 2.6. 2 Chronicles 2.6. But who is able to build him and house, seeing the heaven and heaven of heavens cannot contain him? Who am I? Who am I then that I should build him a house, save only to burn sacrifice before him? See, who am I to build a house? Dear brethren, but God said, I will dwell with these persons to revive them, dear brethren. You see, and such a God, there is none else. He is the first, he is the last. He says, is there any God before me? Tell me. Read Isaiah 44, 6 and uh, Isaiah 44, 8. Verse 6 and 8, brother. Read, brother. Huh? Thus said the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. And beside me there is no God. Hmm. Isaiah 44, 8. Hmm. Care ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from the time, and have declared ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Hmm. There is no God. I know not. Any I know not. Is there any God beside me? Like, babe, tell me. Share it with me. I don't know. I don't know anybody. You see, Devadran, you see, there is no God besides him. He, there is none like him. And uh, he doesn't give his glory to anybody else, Devadran. Not to any graven images. Isaiah 42, 8, brother. Huh? Isaiah 42, 8 and Isaiah 45, 5 and 6, brother. Can somebody read, brother? Hmm. 
I am the Lord that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. See, neither my praise to graven images. Next brother, Isaiah 45, 5 and 6 brother. Huh? I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I, gir I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west, that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I am the Lord, there is none else. There is nobody, no God uh, apart from uh, our Almighty God. Uh, therefore, he says, to whom can you compare our God? Uh, to whom can you compare? Nobody can compare to anybody. Dear friend. You see, and uh, you see, there is no God after uh, him. There is no God before him like him, dear friend. Therefore, you know, Apostle Paul says, who, oh, the depth and the richness of God, who can give him wisdom, who can teach him the height and the depth and the breadth and length of God. You see, uh, read Romans for that. 11 chapter 35, 33 to 36 for that. Romans 11 chapter 33 to 36 for that. Huh? For the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable are the judgments and his ways past finding out for whom, for who hath known the mind of the Lord, or who hath been his counsellor, or who hath first given to him, and shall be recompensed unto him again. For of him, and through him, and to him, are all things to whom be glory forever. Amen. Unsearchable are his judgments. His ways past finding. Who hath known the mind of the Lord? What a mind is there? What a magnificent creation. We can't even ever think how these things were created, how such a powerful things were created. And uh, he has not created anything just like that, dear brother. He has created everything with love and the wisdom, dear brother. Dear brother, you see, that's the reason in Proverbs it says, huh? you see, Jesus was the first creation of that God. Says in Proverbs 8, chapter 9, we read that one, 30 and 31. He says, Then I was by him as one brought up with him. I was brought up with him like a small child growing with the father. He has grown with the father. I was daily the delight of Lord, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of the earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. This is the character of our God and his only son, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brethren, let us read one verse. Isaiah 45, 18, brother. Isaiah 45, 18. For thus said the Lord, that created the heavens, God himself, that from the earth and made it, he had established it, he created it not in vain, he formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is no one else. See? He says, I have created the heavens. I have created the earth for what reason? I have established, created not in vain, for the man to be inhabited. I have created this one for that man to be inhabited. So that man can dwell in it. That is the purpose of creation of this earth. There is a purpose of placing earth on the as a third planet among the nine planets. You see, if God would have kept Earth, one the plant before or one plant after, you know what would have been? Eh? Our earth would have been like Mars. Or else our earth would have been like Mercury burning. You see, if God had replaced our earth in Pluto, you know what, what would have been? Eh? Continuously, 30 years. What is the reason, sir? Eh? 30 years, full cold. Then again, 30 years, what will come, sir? Eh? 30 years, continuous, sir. You see? Eh? Now, summer it seems, sir. God has kept it in a proper place. Huh? How do we have the seasons, sir? Huh? Summer, winter, spring, autumn. Correct. No, correctly comes every three months, sir. Imagine if God would have kept the earth in different places, what would have happened? Summer, we can't bear the summer only for three months. If God would have kept us in a place of Mercury, we would have all burnt. If God would have kept it in Pluto, every 30 years, sir, what would have happened? Full, full, only snow only. We would all frozen to death. 
but god is wise he has kept everything in a proper time dear brother and not only one you know what is the speed at the uh, speed of the earth at uh, uh, what speed it uh, rotates you see you know what is the speed of the earth uh, rotation huh? it is huh? not so fast is very slow only i'll tell you the speed uh, not it done it is only 18 miles that's all 18 miles you know per second you know 18 miles per second means what huh? per hour you only calculate 18 miles per second into 60 times that is the speed you see what is that traveling the earth is traveling it is rotating on its own axis at the speed of 18 miles per second you know dear brethren huh? have you ever wondered huh? is there any small jerk in this moment if you travel in a vehicle at the speed of 100 kilometers what do we feel we have the jerk you see suddenly if the brake put what happened immediately will fall down but uh, till from the creation of the earth till now as any man can felt that one have we ever felt the speed no we are moving along we are not even able to you see feel it dear brethren you know why god has created us to avoid gravitational you see huh? if uh, that that creates actually that speed creates actually gravitational pull on the earth it seems that is the reason god had made this earth to rotate in such a speed imagine if there was no such speed what would happen there was there wouldn't have been any gravitational force on the earth then everything would have been flying as in space like this one then could have been then could we have ate something it would be very difficult it would have been like living in the space but god wanted this one day but moreover because of this gravitation you know what has happened huh you know dear brethren the huh? ultraviolet rays not only one and anything that comes into the you see uh, earth atmosphere it burns off that is because of the gravitation pull and the atmosphere also the this earth atmosphere also is uh, created by god why because that uh, actually has a different layers one of the layer is ozone layer that ozone layer is protecting mankind from the harmful sunlight rays dear brethren huh? we have seen all these things uh, in much in um, first world also god had beautifully created the water canopy why because of mankind and whenever rain comes you know we have this a uh, uh, thunder and lightning no and you wonder why this thunder and lightning should come simply let the rain come and go no why did god create this one because when the thunder and lightning comes during the rain it forms a nitrogen dioxide it seems and that nitrogen is actually a natural fertilizer for the plants and trees it seems and that is the reason you see it helps the plant to grow therefore if you see when the rain whenever the rain comes next day you go and see the plants it is very fresh all the yeah uh, insects and all the small small bacteria in the plants and all they die this is all the creation of god that's the reason isaiah says god had created this earth so man can may be inhabited just see the beautiful and tasty tender coconut tree dear brethren we suck so dirty water takes it so tall so high the trees put so sweet water you see inside the coconut you see that is very tasty very chilling when in the hot summer you just uh, drink on tender coconut uh, it is really satisfying to your body dear brethren this is the creation of god just see a small small insects what god has created fireflies have you ever wondered a small insect producing electricity in his own body who has made this one we can't produce current even of 1 kv or what you say uh, one unit also with our hands with our body can we do it no see this small insect it is producing the light naturally it has it in his body just see the kangaroo dear brother it has a pouch you know that pouch pouch is so waterproof not even a drop of water enters the pouch it seems it's so secured god has given so that the uh, mother can take care protect the child dear brother not only that one dear brother you see so much of other insects you see small small minute tiny house 
whenever you open some old books, small insects will be there in a bookworm. Little, very, very small, not even as a drop of uh, pen also. Eh? That has got what? That has got eyes, that has got legs, hands, it has got brain also. Hey, you. Eh? How is it possible it has got blood, the blood vessels, it is pumping? Not even one dot. Just imagine, dear brethren, how is it walking? If you put any your hand or something in between it, it will immediately analyze, oh, something obstacle is there. Now I need to change my path. It will take left, right and change the path. Dear brethren, is this uh, magic? See the hands. It carries so much of weight, uh, more than 100 to 200 times than his weight. Uh, was given the strength. Dear Varen, huh? this is the creation of God. Since she, the beautiful creation of mankind himself, what did David say? Read, brother, Psalms 139, 16, 17. Psalms 139, 16, 17. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect. And in thy book all my members are written, which in continuance were patients, fashioned when as it there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me. Oh God, how great is the sum of them. You see? Huh? How great uh, is uh, the thoughts. He says, thine eyes did see my substance. But it is being formed in the mother's womb. Today we have that uh, uh, scanning of your mother's womb. No? God has scanned all these things. Uh, you see? A small embryo growing uh, Small heart growing. You see? Small tissues growing into being. Hand, hand, legs, blood vessels. You see? Who has made this one, dear brother? This all did not come up like, just like a magic. We reason. Something happens. What will happen? Immediately, our reflexes will work. If somebody, something hot so falls on our skin, it reacts. Is this magic? Dear brethren, this is the creation of God. We eat food. What food we eat? How much expensive is our food? Just for 20, 30 rupees, maximum 100 rupees, a man can survive for a day. With that food, what happens? That goes inside our body, gives energy, gives wisdom, gives strength to think, to reason, to work. So much powerful things we do. You see? All these things is the creation of God, dear brethren. Huh? We eat food. Though. Sometimes we eat something which is infectious. No? What will happen to our body? We will go to the stomach. Huh? It produces acid. It breaks all those things. Huh? You see? Who has put sulfuric acid in our body? Huh? You see? Hyd sorry, hydrochloric acid. You see, in our stomach, hydrochloric acid forms. Huh? Who put? Huh? If you drink hydrochloric acid, it will die. But it is there in our stomach. Huh? Nothing happens. No? Bile juice. Pancreas. Huh? If pancreas doesn't work, you get sugar. <laughs> Imagine this small pancreas, so much effective. Huh? Kidney. What is the function of kidney? It will filter all the dirty water <laughs> and send out only the unnecessary water from the urine. Huh? Water. We, eat, we drink bisleri water also. That is again purified in our kidney. Huh? Only good water goes to the blood. Oxygen. We take breathe oxygen. So what happens? Huh? But does it go immediately to the blood? No, no, no. It goes to the heart, lungs. Sorry. Lungs, it again senses, oh, which is dirty air, which is good air. Purify, purify. Okay, okay. Filter it. Okay. Get, send the good stock to where? Send it to the blood. Blood carries. In the blood, what is there? WBC, RBC. Huh? Whenever we have a wound, what comes? Huh? Immediately. Pus comes out, you know. Platelets. Immediately. Fibrinogen, they come and bind the wound. Even if you don't take medicine, automatically body recovers. How? Just because of small, some food. These cells, they got brains. Each and every tissue thinks this is our God. Therefore, he said, David, you see, how precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O Lord. How great is the sum of them. How great. I can't even imagine dear God. That is our God. Then, you know, today, uh, uh, how do we take a piece of glass? If somebody gives you a piece of glass and tell them to take it, how do we take it? Do we keep it in our pocket just like that one? No. Why? Glass breaks. You need to break my heart. You know, 
our god is so wonderful uh, he has kept a glass in the most delicate part of the body you know where our eyes you know how many times our eyes move here there and zoom zoom or zoom in left right everything eh? is there any scratch eh? is there any kar 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 sound do we put grease eh? till now have you put taken any medicine for your eyes eh? from birth till now in the old age you need to take eh? but even then eyes is functioning so beautiful pa this is our god then the glass inside it zooms out zooms in you see till now not even one scratch not even a drop of water sorry drop of blood has come out from eyes this is uh, you see brilliance and the wisdom of god abraham therefore david says he that keepeth israel neither slumbers nor sleeps the god almighty god he never faints he is never tired he is never slack in hearing our prayers to him and therefore you see huh? such a god such a wonderful god is today misunderstood and totally forgotten everybody 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 you see wherever you see they huh? forgotten the almighty god everybody they are uh, worshiping the creators uh, you see the creation the forgot on the creator uh, the jesus is his son everybody are honoring jesus uh, okay we don't say no but what about the father what about the heavenly god what about the almighty god how many people know about him job says see job 2614 job 2614 mother ha huh? uh you're all there ha uh. no these are parts of his ways but how little a person is heard of him but the thunder of his power who can understand how little a portion is heard of him when we tell about almighty god everybody misunderstand that we have a jehovah witnesses we are not jehovah witnesses we are we believe in lord jesus without him there is no salvation but yet there is a god even for jesus what about him how many people understand this one dear brother they believe in that the father and the son are the same such a blasphemous doctrine the god has created a hell if he ever wanted to torment mankind in hell why would he create such wonderful things dear brother and every ever imagine sit quietly and think for a moment how great is our god such a god as god four beautiful characters you see let us read that one and finish it off uh, read revelation 4 chapter verse 6 and 7 brother can anybody read revelation 4 chapter 6 and 7 and before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beast full of eyes before and behind and the first beast was like a lion and the second beast like a calf and the third beast had a face as a man and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle he says uh, there are four creatures uh, in the middle of the throne of god first is like a lion second is like a calf third is like a face of a man fourth is like a flying eagle these are the four important characters of god lion means the king of the jungle the power that represents the power calf in the olden days they used to sacrifice calf uh, you see to yeah to you see cover the justice of god to satisfy the justice of god even this uh, represents the justice and the face of man means what love here when man has so much of love isn't it today we can't see but originally man had so much of love that is love and last flying eagle means what eagle shows sharp in his eyesight that from far it sees his prey and come down flying that is the wisdom of god each and every creation you can see this power justice love wisdom acting equally dear brother when he created water he created this power in three layers it was there but what was there there was justice ha he said there is justice ha why antarctic oceans and all are there to control this environment if they start melting we can't stay in our place that is justice of god what is the love of god you see the brain the love gave water 
why water if it again coca cola huh? what would have happened everybody will start fighting for coca cola this is my coca cola that is your coca cola this is a per liter 10 rupees 20 rupees huh? god made no don't want make it neutral color don't want any color give it free don't put any taste also make it tasteless odorless but yet very pleasant what are you made love and wisdom made it in three forms now what wisdom baba in that water what is there is seems again living animals are there lot of things are there they began to speak about our god this is our almighty god you see yahweh this is our almighty god i am that i am and how many people know about him not many therefore he is the father of a lord jesus christ dear brethren okay so hope this is a uh, very useful for you all okay kindly go through the notes which i'll be sending and uh, youtube link also so any doubts any questions you can ask at any time